Hello, sweet souls. Happy Saturday. It is September 21st. This is your first reading. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, if your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. And I know right now is a really crazy time. You know, the energies are all over the place. I kind of feel like we're in the in-between state of completely um, shifting timelines, shifting timelines, releasing all uh, karmic energies from the past. So that shift can feel confusing and emotional, uh, dramatic even. So it's really important right now for you to stay in your lane, to focus on your healing, self-love, self-care, your prayer, your meditation, going to the Lord for anything and everything. Also, right now, you're going to be reminded of experiences in the past that are painful. I want you to remember these are clouds floating by. Recognize the thought. Okay, yes, that was an experience I had in the past. Yes, I recognize that. I remember that experience, but do not give energy to it. Do not give sadness. Do not give regret. Do not give anger, bitterness, resentment. Only recognize that the thought is there. Yes, you remember it, but do not give any emotional energy to it. Just recognize it and redirect. Redirect your thought to something that's high vibrational that makes you feel at peace, very happy, okay? You have to practice this. It's going to take practice. You know, I just to go in another direction. I don't know why I feel a need to talk about this, but I have been under spiritual attack since I was a child. I would have night terrors. I would be screaming and crying, running all over the house. Um, I would walk in my sleep. It was traumatic because the spiritual attacks, even as a child was horrific, but the older I've gotten and stepping into my spiritual practices, it has become much worse. Now I'm a lucid dreamer. So I have the ability to think about what I'm going to say in my dream state. Um, and in the past, I would actually be able to manifest uh, weapons for protection, whether it's a rosary or holy water. Uh, whatever it is I want to manifest, it appears in my hand. But I'll tell you about an experience I had not that long ago. Um, and typically when I'm under attack, all I have to do is call out to St. Michael and he immediately steps in, intervenes and pulls me out of the situation. But on one particular occasion, most recently, not within the last several months, I um, was in the dream state and I was paralyzed in the dream state because I'm a lucid sleeper. So, you know, they had to paralyze me in my dream state so that I couldn't fight back. So I couldn't speak. I couldn't move. And, um, I, so I couldn't even cry out for St. Michael. So what happened is my guide stepped in and he was saying, cry out, cry out, cry out. And so of course I'm listening to what he's saying to me and I couldn't speak, but I started to make noises so that I could wake up Mark. And I did. And then, um, he got me out of that, that spiritual attack. Now, since I've been listening to the Gregorian chant at night, and sleeping with a rosary under my pillow, I have not had a spiritual attack since. So for those of you that are going through spiritual attacks, um, that's what works for me, just to let you know. So um, I already pulled some cards, and I think I'm going to go over these cards because it might be pertinent before we do the actual reading. So it looks like you're, maybe a lot of emotions are coming to the surface. They want you to feel what you need to feel because... You're shedding your old skin. You're actually releasing it by allowing yourself to feel it and then purge it. Um, they want you to shift your perspective. Okay. See things from a different uh, light. See things in a different way. You know, all of your experiences had led you up to this point, which is harnessing your mystic, mystic power. You are a high priestess. So you have spiritual gifts. And this is why they're taking you through this purging process. Um, so that you can step into your full power, okay? They really want you to be able to tap into your intuition. They're trying to communicate with you. Look at that. Trust in the unknown. Trust in God. Wow. All right. And then when I pulled from this deck, we got um, 
Listen and connect with your intuition again. Be clear on what you want and put action to your goals and make them a reality. This talks about manifesting the life you desire and then following the path of another. Your path is being redirected to where it should be. So shifting of the timelines. The bottom of the deck says miracles happen. Give the universe your clear intention. Wow. Okay. So it's all about connecting, connecting, releasing what doesn't serve you, connecting with your higher self, connecting with God, with Jesus, with the spiritual realm, um, so that you can step into your path and purpose. When I pulled from this deck, I said, what, what advice do you have for the collective? The first card out is surrender, surrender everything to the divine communication is coming. Now this can be downloads because we can see crown chakra and third eye activation here, or this could be someone from the, from the earthly realm. They need you to be patient. You are meant to shine. You're meant to shine your light in this world. You are definitely a healer energy, okay, in some way. All right. Yeah, look at that. Underneath the bottom of this deck is Celestial Teacher. You're meant to teach and guide others. Okay. So let's see. All right. Let's see. Show me collectives. I'm going to do it a little bit different this time, guys. Sorry. I just feel called to do a little different. Show me um, the collective's past experience. Why the past experience was so important for the collective. Show me the collective's past experience. Show me collective's past experience. Show me collective's past experience. Yeah, it's so interesting. Okay, so in the in your past, you were victimized. You were put in this wounded warrior energy. Somebody here wanted to control you, dominate you. Um, somebody wanted to feel like they were above you, so they beat you down. They really attacked your self-confidence, your self-worth. They wanted you to feel like nothing. This was... A false leader, a king of wands, somebody that pretended to be a true leader. Now, I don't care about the sign. They could be an Aries Leo Sag. This is just telling me this person was selfish and arrogant. They were ego-driven. This person in the past put 10 swords in your back. You had complete trust and faith in this person, and they deceived you. This person was a karmic to you. They were very greedy, and they were trying to block your light. This person, due to their insecurities, wanted to keep you beat down so that you didn't see the light within you. All right, tell me more about the past for the collective. Past experience. Past experience. Yeah. In the past, there was a lot of communication going on this was creating uh, an imbalance for you somebody did juggle you they deceived you they betrayed you they juggled you whether it was with another person an addiction whatever it was but the truth came out in the past God gave you the truth and clarity that you needed look the sun so that you could see very clearly what was going on all right in the present energy in the present energy Somebody does not want to be accountable. This king of wands from the past does not, could be a feminine too, does not want to be accountable for the things they did to you. You are this earth angel. You're peaceful. You're harmonious. You focus on things being in balance, but you are this earth angel, current energy. And you're growing. Nine of Pentacles. This is the card of the week, man. A couple weeks, probably. You keep growing because you come from this peaceful space. You have pure intentions. You're loving. You're kind. So what we can see, you went through hell in the past. This was on the job training, once again, um, in order for you to find your light within. In order for you to take your power back, you had to go through this experience. So God gave you the truth. Even though the person that put you in the wounded warrior energy refused to be accountable, God still gave you the truth so that you could have peace and harmony in your life. So balance could be restored. And now we can see you're starting to prosper in some way. You're independent. You're confident. You can do it on your own. Current energy. 
Yeah. And we can see the person that refused to be accountable is going through a tower. They've been holding on, trying to prevent an ending. It could be an ending to a marriage that they're in, a long-term commitment, or a family dynamic. This is someone from the past that only has good memories of you. Regardless of what lies they have spoken about you, they know, yeah, they created illusions around you. They didn't want people to see you as a good person, loving or kind. They wanted to flip the script and say that you were the culprit. You were the bad person. You were the cheater. You were the liar. You were the snake. Um, but now this person is facing a reckoning. Current situation. Current situation for the collective. Yeah. So this person embraced a new beginning from your past, was very deceptive, put 10 swords in your back, and wasn't accountable. They lied about what happened. They thought they were going to have this new beginning and they were going to win. This is somebody that would say anything, do anything to win. This person has a dark attachments with the devil here. This person could have addictions, addictions to money, sex, uh, gambling, whatever. This person is very dark and low vibrational. Why are we seeing this in the current energy? Why are we seeing this? Well, it looks like this person is recognizing that they made the wrong decision, that they were giving to multiple people, and now this perspective it has changed. They're stuck in whatever they're in, but they're starting to see things differently. What are they seeing differently? Well, they're seeing that you were their soulmate. You were their path to abundance, generational wealth, and that you are a high priestess. You're very spiritually gifted. You're connected with the divine, and this person is aware of it, regardless of what they've said to other people. Because this is somebody that would put ten swords in your back and then turn around and say, Oh, he's crazy. She's crazy. This person knows that you are gifted. Wow. They also know you could have a king of swords in your energy. Now, this is you could be calling this person in or this is someone in your energy. It could also be St. Michael. Um in your energy. This, I feel, is the energy of protection. Somebody's protecting you. Someone operates in honesty, loyalty, and integrity. Now, this could be someone in the spiritual realm. Like I said, it could be St. Michael. It could be an ancestor. But they know that your reality is shifting, that what's happening quickly for you is a happy home and happy life. Regardless of the lies that they have spread about you, regardless of the false narrative turning people against you. And look, guys, I know how painful that is because somebody that's trying to cover their own tracks puts 10 swords in your back. They will stoop so low. They will turn your children against you. They will try to turn your entire family against you. And what I would say to that, you know, give it to Jesus. Let Jesus enlighten your children. Let Jesus enlighten your, your family. Pray about it. Pray that the truth is exposed, but don't chase don't chase them to love you. Don't beg them to love you. Let them go and let them find the truth on their own. Pray for them, send them love, but surrender them to Jesus because Jesus will open their eyes in time. Current situation, a new cycle is beginning for you. A happy cycle, one where there is mutual love, which is beautiful. Yeah, with somebody that's going to love you. King of Cups is a very loving energy, and it leads to a marriage, a long-term commitment. So much happiness and success connected to this new person that's coming in. And that's the other thing. I know, you guys, it's hard when you're alone because we're not created to be alone. I mean, we're not. We, you know, we were meant to be in a partnership. But here's what I would say to you. If you haven't yet met this person that's coming in, continue to daydream about this person that you're calling into your reality, but just say, I surrender it. I surrender it, Jesus. I surrender it. Lord, I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to 
do what I can each day to be in my highest vibration, to be filled with love and happiness, but I am truly going to surrender it. I'm not thinking about it unless you're daydreaming about it in the evening or something. I'm not going to spend all day thinking and wondering. I'm just going to go on and live my life. As soon as you truly release it and don't care if it comes in or when it comes in, that's when it's going to happen. I guarantee it is when it's going to happen. That's how it works. And you know, and some of you are saying, no, I don't think about it. But subconsciously, it's always there. You are always in the back of your mind worrying, am I ever going to have anyone? Am I always going to be alone? Just say, I give up. I give it to you. I'm not worrying about this. Whatever. That's when it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Stop overthinking. Stop stressing about it. Stop worrying about it. Because the Queen of Swords to the King of Swords, that's a match. What's meant for you will be for you. Justice is going to be served in all avenues of your experience. The deception, the betrayal, you know, you not having the divine love in your life. That is a part of your justice. Okay, guys? Remember that. Yeah, and they said, don't worry about your past person who lied and tried to turn your kids from you or your family from you. This person's miserable. This person's feeling depressed because they know what they did was wrong. It was heavy manipulation, dark magic, slander, whatever they did. It was evil. This was a person that should have been a father figure. Look at that. Cheating, lying, stealing, and hiding it. This should have been a masculine, a divine masculine energy. They're a coward. They're not, they're not a leader. This is someone that was cheating, lying, and stealing, and then doing it in the dark, hiding it, thinking they were still going to have victory. Turning your own children against you for some of you and thinking that was okay? Cheating, lying, and stealing, and then telling lies and creating illusions for your family? Yeah, they thought they were going to win, trying to destroy the empress. They won karma. That's what they won. They won karma. You're moving on to peace and staying private. You're letting people believe what they want, including your own children. You're just giving them to the Lord and letting them believe what they want. Because you know, in time, the truth will come to light. The truth will come to light. And you're just focused on living your best life. So let's see. What does the collective need to know? Look at that. You don't have to worry. The moon and justice, what was done in the dark, God knows. There is no hiding anything. You will have justice for it. Don't worry. Yeah, this person that was a false emperor, a false father, a false leader. You know, any man that would try to destroy the mother of their children is the biggest coward on earth. That's sickening. It's just sickening. All right, anything else? What does the collective need to know? You're moving on to victory. It's spiritually led. Spiritual realm has your back. Don't worry. Look at that. Yeah, this love bomber from your past, non-committal energy, they're going through a breakup or a divorce. That's what I'm feeling. That's what's in the energy. Yeah, and you are this queen of swords speaking your truth cutting all of this bs out because you want to call in this real divine partner someone that's loving and kind someone that's emotionally mature and open yeah and this player that's been holding on to you they're being blocked this is a greedy masculine um that's also a player and they're being blocked by the divine by the divine divine intervention yep blocking this person Yeah, they're going to be carrying a heavy burden because what they don't realize is you will have victory, success, public recognition, and they're going to be in heartbreak. It's opposite ends of the spectrum. Yeah, you keep rising. Nine of Pentacles, growing, becoming more confident, independent, more financially secure because you've changed your perspective. Yep, that's faded for you. That is what's faded for you. 
and you are protected. Now, this, I, like I said, can be a divine partner that's coming in to co-create with you that's fated to come in. Um, or this is you elevating, aligning with your fate and destiny, and this is St. Michael. And then we can see with the Eight of Wands, someone's stuck, stagnant, no forward movement, no communication. And it's because they know they made the wrong decision, and you are not in stress or anxiety. You have healed and released. And so someone else here is bound to a Jezebel spirit, and they can't get out of that situation. Yeah, they could be married to this Jezebel. But the cycle's closing in this karmic relationship. They may be trying to keep it hidden. It looks like one of them is juggling, or they both could be juggling. There's cheating. There's deception here. The blockage is they cannot manifest anything. They can't move on and they can't manifest. Yeah, look, the blockage is stuck, stagnant, energy. Nothing's happening in this karmic relationship that they chose. Yeah, just a bunch of partying and overindulging with the Nine of Cups, but that's ending with the death. It's ending. They've been trying to avoid this, you know, for multiple reasons. This masculine is codependent, first off. They're codependent. They're greedy. So they can't be alone. So they're attached to a karmic feminine and it could have to do with their resources because it looks like that's why they chose this karmic feminine. And um, they're so worried about their image and how people are going to view the situation. They're also afraid that if they if this ends, their karmic feminine is going to tell the truth. It's going to they're going to be exposed. They're in a hopeless situation. This is not a wish come true. Yeah, and with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles in reverse, you are not going through any, any type of pain associated with what they've done, they've done to you. You're not abandoned or rejected, nor are you feeling any kind of pain in connection to that. You've just released it. Yeah, this person is feeling like a fool. Because of all they put you through in the Wounded Warrior energy, you're the High Priestess and the Hermit. You've relied on your intuition, and you're staying very private now, calling in new love, a new soulmate, someone that's aligned for you. And by doing this, you are defeating this person in this Devil energy in reverse. You're planting good seeds, moving forward with your life. Yeah, and this person that took no action... This false emperor that took no action to be accountable for their what they've done to you. They're going through a tower. Going through a tower. Be careful because that's when they may try to come in and say they're sorry, express love, and tell you they want to put in the work or that they've changed. But no, they haven't. This is karma. Yeah, this is karma. Wow. That's crazy. Look at this. I got to tell. I got to look at the bottom of the deck here. This person chose this queen of cups. They put you in competition with this other feminine energy. Flip or switch the roles. Um, now they're bound to this third party. Trying to have strength. They could be a Leo. Don't have to be. Truth's coming to light about the lying, cheating, and stealing. They're going to be in a lot of regret. Could be, like I said, Aries, Leo, Sag. It doesn't have to be somebody that's operating in ego. This is someone that could be exhausted because they went into this union for wealth, but there is a message going around, and this message has to do with the truth, exposure. This couple is being exposed, and that has come out for quite some time. Wow. Um, you know, let God take care of these energies. Yes, you're going to pick up on the energies, but we don't have to give energy to it we can recognize it's floating around but we don't have to put any of our energy like sadness regret pain no we don't have to do that we just are going to recognize it's there and redirect redirect to something positive okay let's get some numbers could be months could be days could be ages and i'll take what resonates holy spirit
What does the collective need to know? All right, so we have a number three, could be March, two number fours, could be April, could be August, and then we have a number five, May. So somebody could be 53, 43, 35, 34, 54, 38, 35. I don't know. You guys get it. All right, we'll go into part two to see um, what's happening moving forward. What actions is this person going to take? What collective needs to do to protect their energy? Um, let's just first, let's get real quick the, uh, the uh, signs and letters for the collective. Who's this reading about? Holy Spirit. Who's this reading about? There's our old faithful Z. And it comes out all the time. B on the bottom of the deck. We have Q, K, G, X, Gemini, Capricorn, M, O, P, Virgo, F, Taurus, A, Cancer, Aquarius, C, E, Sag, Leo, U, and Z. And let's just get a couple advice. Advice for the collective. What advice do you have for the collective? What advice do you have for the collective? All right, we have, for some of you, you have a new career. Um, they want you to take a trip. It will do you good. Um, turn on your favorite music and dance to raise your vibration. They said you have already won. I think that came out yesterday. Make a wish and believe it's coming. Well, I like that. All right. Let me just get a couple from my deck. What does the collective need to be aware of in this situation? Looks like a hot mess to me. Legal issues. Somebody's going to have some legal issues. They want you to continue to make I am statements. I am statements. Someone asked me, what is this? This is positive affirmation. I am happy. I am healthy. I am holy. I am abundant. I am intelligent. You know, I am prosperous. Those are the type of statements they want you to make about yourself because you've been releasing karmic debt. All of this BS, all of this pain, all of this drama was not for nothing. You've been cleaning your slate. Justice is playing out, okay? Those scales of justice are being balanced for all these toxic, this toxic group that's been participating in a smear campaign, indulging, uh, overindulging. Uh, somebody's going to lose their job from this experience. You are being guided towards your destined path and purpose. Yeah, new job or career. This could be you starting your own business or completely uh, starting a new career that's different than what you've done in the past. And then we got people out here projecting negative energy, whether it's actual magic or not, but you're too grounded. You're too connected with the spiritual realm. You meditate, you pray, and so it's not effective. It's not working. They're just under God's wrath. They're under judgment because of it. You have abundance, financial stability, and blessings headed your way. And this false masculine that was a deceiver, that lied, betrayed you, and then lied, um, they're going to pay the consequences. They committed some sort of fraudulent activity against the high priestess. They could have done it in the workspace. They're a spiritual hater. Or they could have done it against your work. They're a narcissist. Oh my goodness. All right. So we got a time frame of a, the near future, right? Very near future. We can see that this person is fake and they're in a karmic connection. You, on the other hand, have a new opportunity headed your way and you have a new soulmate.
you're protected from this karmic couple. And this person, actually, are you kidding me? They want to reconcile. They've been stalking you. They see you as the divine femme. They're attached to a gold digger, stalking you and wanting to reconcile. That's just weird. Weird. Yeah, this is... They've been working with others to try to block you. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Look, a high priestess. Trying to block a high priestess. Yeah. You know, and all they're doing is blocking their own manifestation. This is dysfunctional home. Things are falling apart. By blocking an earth angel, you're just moving away from the situation, whether energetically or physically. Yeah, they're going to go through an ego death because you're just cleansing it off. You're taking your spiritual baths. You're praying. Yeah, that's that distorted, fiery energy. What did I say? You're praying. Look kind of came out on the fence here the fire sign aries leo sag it's a distorted energy whether that's that sign or not somebody that operates from ego and fear you are the divine femme you have success abundance stability um because of your prayers and then we can see earth sign on the bottom of the deck um taurus virgo capricorn and this can you could have these placements or this is just you with unexpected income you being very grounded and stable okay all right we are going to go into part two, just see what actions this person's going to take, if any, and um, what you need to be aware, what you need to do. Okay, so let's clear these out. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading, I'm scheduling, I believe, for next Wednesday is my next available. I have limited slots available. I don't open it wide up. I only take limited appointments. Um, also, if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, the bio, TikTok, description of YouTube. I love you guys. I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.